Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the normal force, one of the most fundamental forces when it comes to all of physics. So, many of you are sitting in a chair right now, or maybe you're sitting on your bed, but either way, you're either sitting or standing or laying down on something, which means you're all experiencing a normal force right now. The normal force is the force pushing up on you from your bed or the ground or your chair that's stopping you from falling to the center of the earth. So if I were to draw a little picture of a stick figure sitting in a chair, something like this, I am not a good artist, but I think you get the picture. There are two forces acting on this guy right now. There is a force of gravity, Fg, pointing down, and there is a normal force, Fn, pointing up. I like to call the normal force Fn, However, there are teachers and professors out there who call it different things. I've seen people call it capital N. I've seen people call it lowercase n. And that's about it in terms of the most common names I see. But a great question is, why is it called the normal force? And I'll tell you exactly why. The word normal here does not mean normal. It's not the opposite of weird. Normal is the math definition where normal actually means perpendicular. And so the reason why it's called the normal force is because the normal force is always perpendicular to the surface you're on. So back to this guy sitting in the chair, the surface is this way left to right. So the normal force points up. And so hypothetically, if I had a box on a ramp, then the normal force wouldn't point straight up. It would point perpendicular to the ramp like that. Or if you had a book and you were holding that book against a wall, then the normal force points that way, perpendicular to the wall. So that's why it's called the normal force. We know which way it points now. And now the only thing we have left is to talk about the equation for the normal force. Here's the fun thing. There is no equation for normal force. Then how do we find it? So you're gonna find the normal force, depending on the problem, using Newton's second law. If you remember, Newton's second law says F net equals ma, or you can break it up in the x and y component, which is definitely what I would recommend doing. But either way, the normal force is going to be solved using Newton's second law. So for instance, if I have a box here on flat ground, it's not exactly flat, but I did my best, and I have a normal force pointing up and gravity Fg pointing down, then I would say F net y is equal to all the forces going up, which is Fn, minus the forces going down, which is Fg, and then I set that equal to mass times acceleration, specifically in the y direction. If this box is not moving up or down, then that means the acceleration is zero, which means Fn minus Fg equals zero, which means the normal force in this case is equal to Fg, which by the way, that's the force of gravity, and the force of gravity has the equation Fg equals mg, mass times gravity. Long story short, the normal force is equal to mass times gravity, and this is gonna be true 90% of the time. Meaning, the normal force is almost always equal to mass times gravity. There are three exceptions to this rule. Otherwise, normal force equals mg. So the first exception is if you're accelerating up or down. If you're accelerating up or down, that's gonna change Newton's second law, it's not zero anymore, and the normal force will not be equal to mg, it will either be greater than or less than mg. A classic example of this is the elevator problem. In an elevator problem, your normal force is not equal to your force of gravity, unless you're moving at constant speed, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. The second exception is if there's another force in the y direction. So for instance, if I have a box here and I'm pulling up at an angle like this, and it doesn't matter what the angle is because you would need to break this F pool into its X and Y components anyway. So you'd have FX and an FY, an X and Y component. You do that using Sokotoa. And now because you have another force pointing up, Fy, it's going to, again, change your Newton's second law equation so the normal force is not going to be equal to mg anymore. If I have a force in the x direction only, it doesn't matter. It's only when I have another force in the y direction specifically, that's a problem. And then the third exception, and this is the hardest one, is ramp problems. If you have, for instance, a box sliding down a ramp like this, 
and mg points straight down and the normal force points at an angle like this, then fn is not gonna be mg. If you wanna solve this problem, I have videos on how to solve it, but just know normal force does not equal mg for this problem either. But besides these three exceptions, the normal force is always gonna equal mg, force of gravity. And so that's a good thing to know, and it'll save you some time on the test. So that's everything I have to say about the normal force. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.